Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm here showing you something which has honestly made my whole day and I want to talk to you about something that I've done during lockdown which I've become a bit obsessed with. So let's get started. As I think most of you know who follow me over on Instagram, I teamed up with Loungefly Europe to give away this Loungefly. How cute is he? He's the Pizza Planet Alien, which is super hard to find now. I think you sold it in most places. I've loved Loungefly for a really long time, long before they actually became Disney Park exclusive Loungeflies. So during lockdown, I found something that only I would like, only I would get obsessed with, but I think a lot of you guys would love it too. So back here, I have some Vinylmations. The whole reason why I loved Vinylmations is because they were mystery. You didn't know which one you were gonna get. There was 12 to choose from. The 12th one was a chaser. It was a hard, really, really hard to get one and you didn't know which ones you were going to get in the bag so I kept buying them and buying them and buying them because I love anything mystery so that leads me on to what we're going to talk about today so I became a bit obsessed with mystery boxes in general but also lounge fly mystery boxes so I came across a company called Double Box Toys they are so good for like pop funkos they're really good for lounge flies especially park exclusives your really hard to find grail ones, your Disney Park ones, and they also do something called Loungefly Mystery Boxes. Wonder what that could be. So basically, they do mystery boxes for Loungeflies and Loungefly purses. They do many different ones, and I've done pretty much all of them during lockdown to test them out, to see how they are, and to see what I get, and talk to you and review it for you guys. So first up, let's talk about the Loungefly Purse Mystery Box. Loungefly Purse Mystery Boxes are actually cheaper, obviously, than the backpacks because you're just getting a purse, but they sometimes throw in a bag. So most of the time, I think they're 24.50 or 27.50, around that mark for a purse, for a purse mystery box. And 13 of the ones that I entered had a bag. And the bags were really, really good ones. They were like Oliver and Company, Little Bo Peep, a Cinderella one. There were some really good lounge flies to be had, but you have to be one of the 13 lucky. So I did do two boxes, and this was one of the ones I got. I didn't get a bag, but I got this mini purse. This is the Maroon Quilted Mini Mouse Lounge Fly. This is the tag here. I will show it you up close and talk you through it, because it is a really lovely purse. So this was the one I got. It's the maroon, it's quilted, it's got a velvet bow and mini ears. This is the back, it's got one of the hard plaques which has Disney Lounge Fly on, which a lot of the backpacks do have. It's very good and it's very, very big. So inside, if I open it, this is the inside. You can pop a little picture here, a ton of cards. You can pop money and all this in here. This is the lining, I love Lounge Fly's lining. That's the lining and obviously the coins go in this bit. Now this is a really decent sized Lounge Fly purse. I was actually pretty happy with this. And then I ordered two. I always kind of ordered two for like more of a chance. So this was the first one I got. The second one I got was an X-Men Phoenix purse. Now being the Disney obsessed person that I am, X-Men wasn't really for me. I actually managed to find someone to trade with me. That's the good thing about a mystery box. If you don't like what you get, you normally can find someone to trade with. If not, you can sell it on. So this is the one I traded for. So I traded my X-Men for Tony's Restaurant Lady and the Tramp. I got offered the bag to trade with one of my other bags, which I'll explain later, and I didn't love it, but I love this, so I think I do need the bag to match. So this is Tony's Restaurant. It's the menu one. The only thing that's different about this one is the plaque on the back isn't metal. It's actually part of the material, but the material feels so nice. I wouldn't have bought it myself, but I'm really happy that I've got it and someone traded with me. It's stunning inside. We've got Lady and the Tramp there, love, in their spaghetti scene. This actually folds down and you've got more room for cards and a picture. And also, I love lining in lounge flies as they are always so cool. And this is the lining inside this lounge fly. It's like the the tablecloths in the film. I think it could probably could have been a bit better, but because it's like a menu, because it's meant to look like a menu, I think it works really well. So personally, I think this would be ideal for Walt Disney World, just because this one is a little bit bigger. Like, in size comparison, it is bigger. And I like to take a smaller one to pop in my lounge backpacks, and you don't, you don't really want to be taking anything too heavy around the parks. But I love them, I love them both. I love actually this one more than this one, and I really love this one at first. But that is the name of the game of the mystery box. You never know what you're gonna get. It's definitely a gamble. So how the mystery boxes work, they let you know on the day. That's the only time they let you know on the day, pretty much an hour before and half an hour before, they show you the list. So in the list, they'll have a big long list of 
bags and how many there are to be had. There are some lounge try boxes which are really really good and some which are amazing. So let me explain the difference. Most of the time they are £49.50 which is a really decent price especially if you can get a £90 lounge fly bag in there. For £49.50 that's a steal but you never know what you're going to get. So I did do the £49.50 one, I got two as always and I didn't like either of the ones I got. So I got Elvis Stitch in the cosplay which I didn't, I haven't got him because I ended up trading him or because I did end up selling him on and making my money back so then I could go back and buy another lounge fry bag that I wanted. And the second one I got was Marvel. And I like Marvel but I don't really want to wear not Marvel backpacks. And it was Venom and it wasn't very cute. But I managed to sell him on too. So that is the name of the game. If you get one you don't like, usually you can find someone who will take him off your hands. Or you can find someone that has one that you love and you can trade. So it always does work out quite well. And you can sell them on and make your money back. So that is what I did with those ones. My mum also did one. She got Overwatch. We really don't know what Overwatch is. And that's probably one of the worst ones that you can get in a Loungefly uh, mystery box. And we managed to sell it on. Thank God. So we did those ones for 49.50. And then Double Box Toys came out with the luxury grail in search of everyone wants Loungefly Mystery Box. This one was actually a bit more money. I wasn't going to do it. And then they released the list and I was like, I'm going to do it. So basically the list had park exclusives. Like everyone's grails were on there. The really hard to find ones were on there. Box lunch exclusives were on there. And even though you're paying a little bit more money, it was worth it because most of those bags were worth that price if not more. So they released the list and I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get two because I always get two of everything because it gives you more of a chance to get one that you like and maybe one that you might want to trade or sell on. So that is what I did. My mum also did it too. And let me show you. I can't wait to share with you. And just before I share the bags that I got, Quickly, I'll explain how it works. So obviously, like I said, they let you know on the day. They give you the list of bags like an hour before, half an hour before sometimes. So you don't have much time to get on there and do it. But most of the time, the 49.50 bags sell out in the same minute. So you have to be quick. You have to be so quick. There's sometimes no time for me to even get it up on my Instagram. It's gone. So the last 49.51, it went on at say three o'clock and it was sold at three o'clock. They were sold out before one minute past three. So you have to be quick. Um, the more luxurious, expensive one, it took a bit longer to sell out, but that's because it was more money and people are parting with more money and risking more. But I was willing to risk it. And this is what I got. So when you buy two Loungefly mystery boxes, they actually tape them together. So you get two big boxes together like this. And this was the first one I opened. And after the last ones, 49.50, they weren't very good. I was very disappointed and I was super upset because you get excited. You look forward to them. I was so nervous opening this. So some of these bags were obviously going to be the price that you paid, if not more. Some of them were less. And that's the mystery box. That's the way the cookie crumbles with this. So you could get one that's 50 quid, but they put in purses to match the price up to 90, about what, 84, 50. So sometimes you get a special purse in there too, if your bag is a little bit cheaper. Same with purses, you can maybe get a bag if you're one of the lucky few. But let's get on to what bag I got in my mystery box. So in the first one, this is the one I got. And if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, it's down below. I will leave the link down below. <sighs> this is my favourite film of all time. I fully cried. I should have opened it on camera, but I was so nervous that it wasn't going to be a good one. But I've been, I've been in search of this for such a long time. I don't think you understand. If you've watched my quizzes on here, you guys know it's one of my favourite films. He's one of my favourite characters. And there's barely any lounge fly or barely any Elliot Peach Dragon merch at all. This is a box lunch exclusive. He goes for such a lot of money on eBay and there's barely any in the UK. So in this lounge fly mystery box, there was five of these, five, I think five or four, and I managed to get one. And I'm absolutely in love. He's so vibrant. The colors are absolutely stunning. You've got like a turquoisey blue and like a light blue and he's gorgeous. I've checked him over, there's no marks. He's absolutely perfect. But the funny thing is, I actually have a really good friend who lives in California who headed out to Box Lunch for me, picked me this up, shipped it over. So I've actually paid essentially for two of these. So what I would do is I'll either sell one of them on and make my money back from like the customs and the shippings from, being sent, from it being sent from America and I'll just make the money back because I don't need to. 
or I would trade with someone. So if someone has a really great loungefly bag that I love, that I'm in search of, that's one of my grails, I will trade because I know a lot of people want this. But this was what I got in my mystery box. I was super lucky and honestly it made my whole day. So let me show you him up close. So let me do it like this so I can see. So he's actually stitched on. If you can see there, the stitching is so, so good. It's very vibrant. You've got the... Um, the lighthouse where Pete is and you've got the boat which maybe where Nora's husband is if you haven't seen the film because I know a few people said they haven't seen it please go watch it it's on Disney plus it's a musical I used to watch it 10 times plus when I was little like no exaggeration so this honestly is like the best thing that I could have got in that lounge fly mystery box even though I've got one coming from America I can't believe I got it in a mystery box again let's look at the lining because the lining are always super good it's green obviously it's got Elliot just different designs different styles of Elliot inside obviously would you expect anything more so he's actually a really different shaped lounge fly to any other lounge flies I've got I don't know if it's a box lunch exclusive thing but I don't really see a lot of the park exclusive looks like this a lot of them have the pouch at the front that's what my other ones have but I love him and I'm so grateful I took the risk because it was definitely worth it it's not always this good as I've known from my last two mystery boxes but this was worth paying a little bit extra for so this was the first one let me show you the second one and this was the second one in the luxury mystery lounge by box from double box toys this is actually a Disney park exclusive so park exclusives are always harder to get because you have to get them in a park they're always worth much more money and this is the one I got I actually really love him like I don't know if he's going to be for everyone he's very bright but I, I'm a very bright person and I really like things that stand out I love Elliot more but I love this one too and it's not to say that I will necessarily keep him forever I might find another one that I'm absolutely in love with like I really really want Cinderella pink dress so if someone wanted to trade I might think about trading but right now I love him and yeah Disney Parks exclusive he's got the cushion material all the way around let me show you the inside he's new as well i think he just came out this summer like literally recently like he's a brand new one and i have him and i'm so happy so this is the inside we've got mickey uh, mickey pineapples and just normal pineapples so that is the gorgeous inside lining and when i said about like different shapes that's what i mean like he's got the pouch whereas my other two lounge flies look exactly like this and obviously peach dragon elliot looks like this so that is how a mystery box works and it's very hit or miss you can get ones that you're not necessarily in love with in this one a lot of people said the mickey tartan one wasn't worth it there was 14 mickey tartans i think there was 14 of him and five of elliot and there was a riviera one in there which is a very expensive one but a lot of people got mickey tartan and they don't i don't think they were happy with him my mum did get that one it's downstairs so i can't currently show you but if you look him up you'll see what i mean he's actually a lot smaller than this one this is called a mini lounge fly backpack but he's actually half the size of this but he's very cute he's very subtle and i think he's more like if you like a subtle mickey thing it's it's quite nice and we're gonna go at christmas at some point and it'll be great for christmas because it's mickey tartan so i think she's happy with that but i know a lot of people went and they've definitely traded their ones for other ones and you can definitely trade if you don't like the one you get or you can just sell it for more money and then go and buy the one that you want that's the whole point of mystery boxes you don't know what you're going to get it's not for everyone i know because it's a lot of money to part with but I'm a sucker for anything mystery and I'm a sucker for bags as you know if you've seen my bag collection video if you haven't I'll link it down below but now I have two more lounge flies and I'm so happy they're such an investment and this one I would definitely keep for the rest of my life because he's my baby I love him and I can't wait to go and shoot content with them and put them with outfits and take them to the parks so if you did do a lounge fly mystery box let me know down below because I try and get it up my stories um if i can but like i said they sell out within the same minute so if i can i'll always put them on my instagram stories if i find any lounge flies that are new like really hard to find rare ones i'll pop them on my instagram story so if you're over on instagram you will see them if you're not head over to instagram check my stories maybe put the notification bell on because i will always be putting up lounge flies on my story when and if i find them and if you're looking for any let me know and i'll try and help you find them too so yeah if you have any lounge flies let me know what your favourite ones are down below. Let me know what you're searching for so we can have a chat about lounge flies. It's my favourite pastime at the minute. It's definitely something to look forward to 
while being in lockdown and not really spending a lot of money on anything else. <laughs> so that is it for this Double Box Toys unboxing mystery box. I don't know if I'll do another one because I feel like I got really good with those two and that was Elliot one was the only one I really really wanted except for this pink Cindy but it's super hard to find. So I may do another one in the future. If you do do one let me know. I will leave a link down below for Double Box Toys and some of like the great Loungefly collections that they have. They also have a great Pop Funko collection too. So thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it and if you liked seeing the Loungefly bags and like the idea of the mystery box give this video a like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Quickly, this tea is a Dumbo tea. I know a lot of you asked where my clothes are from. This is from I Want One Of Those. It was gifted to me. I should have a 20% discount code. If I do, I'll link it down below and you can go shop it there. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with a new video, guys. Thank you. Bye.